What's up everybody, Typical Gamer with your daily YouTube live streams and more and today for you guys, got a brand new GTA 5 vehicle added into the game. This is the Flash GT Rally Car, which looks really, really sweet. We're going to be buying it, checking it out, and seeing everything it has to offer, customizing it, and taking it on the track as well. So if you watch and enjoy this video, make sure you smack that like button, especially if you want to see more GTA 5 videos, and if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe, but not not only subscribe, YouTube makes it a little weird so you won't actually see all the videos, so make sure after you subscribe, hit the bell and click turn on post notifications so you know whenever I drop new videos. Also, make sure to copy yourself some fire merch, typical.store, alright? Um, link will be in the description below. Seriously, go to typical.store right now, copy yourself some fire merch. Uh, things are getting sold out really quickly, so you're going to want to go now. Like, probably right now. Go. Go get it. You got this. I believe in you. All right. So here we go. Um, you can see over here. We're, we're with our uh, beautiful NASCAR uh, vehicle that we used uh, in the last stream. That was a lot of fun. But uh, now we're going to go ahead and buy the new car. So I already bought the new car, but I'm going to show you where to get it and all that jazz. So head over to Travel and Transport, Legendary Motorsport, and then you will see part of the San Andreas Super Sport Series. We got the Vapid Flash GT. Let me see. I just absolutely love the name. This thing is coming coming in hot at 1.675 million dollars absolutely expensive very very expensive we're gonna see if the performance the customization all that is up to par with the price because it is awfully expensive not as expensive as the most expensive car but uh pretty expensive it's also part of the sports class category not part of the super so you know how it is one moment you're driving to the store the next you succumb to an overwhelming desire to tear some fresh holes in the asphalt your doctor says you need extensive psychiatric treatment but at vapid we understand all you need is the right car specifically one that's both a nimble little runner and a demented little hatchback that's forever on the edge of tearing itself into hot little pieces let the therapy begin this is one of my favorite favorite descriptions of a vehicle i just gotta say that uh definitely one of my favorites um oh the screen froze okay give me one sec i will fix that what a horrible horrible time for the screen to freeze you just guys are gonna hear me talking for a second. Um, there we go, that should be good. All right, so the way you get to here, let me just show you real quick, is you hit up on your phone, go to internet, go to travel and transport, legendary motorsports, and then you'll see part of the San Andreas Super Sport Series. Again, two-seater Vapor Flash GT for $1.675 million. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead, we already bought it, uh, so it's gonna be in our garage waiting for us. I thought that was a better way of doing it since uh, we'd be able to get there much, much faster, and I can show you car, the, the car almost right away. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over to uh, our garage over here. We're still dressed up in our our outfit here. You see, it matches the car. It matches the car. It looks pretty freaking sweet, if you ask me. Now, I'm a big fan of customization and all that jazz, so I'm hoping that this car has everything I need and require as a vehicle connoisseur. All right? As a vehicle connoisseur. So let's go ahead and get in here. And you will see over here. Oh, my goodness. Look at this rally monster. So this is the Flash GT. Again, big fan of the um, of the name, and it looks awesome. It kind of looks like, yeah, like, uh, I think, I, I think it was, uh, I looked it up a little bit earlier. Let me just see real quick. So Flash GT, it's based off of, according to the GTA Wiki, uh, the Ford Fiesta RS wrc so that's what it's based off of and it looks pretty freaking sweet if you ask me just based off this look alone i would totally buy it the price though is what's doing me in here so uh love the back end here the hatchback style with the spoiler love the interior rally look i think they got that spot on and uh the default tires look pretty they don't look pretty unique to the car but going in here this looks incredible. This whole interior here with roll bars and everything looks absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and hop in here. Look at our 6x6 back there as well. And let's go ahead and drive this thing over to the shop. We're going to go ahead and roll this thing into first person as well. Look at the first person. Oh, that looks great. It sounds great too. Look at this. Look at this car. The sound is perfect. Holy shoot. Oh, this is awesome. It's awesome. It seems pretty quick right off the bat without much customization. It feels really great to drive as well. 
me just throw that out there. It feels really great to drive. The interior, I would have to rate the interior for what this car is and how true to life, probably, uh, in terms of uh, uh, gear, uh, ge gears, uh, yes, but I mean switches and all that jazz. This looks very, very appropriate to what I believe the real life counterpart would probably be similar to. Oh, look at that drift. That was a gnarly drift. All right. We gotta bring this thing over to somewhere special. We gotta bring it to an LS Customs. I feel like we gotta bring it to the other LS Customs though. So we're gonna drive this one. The handling on this vehicle, it's absolutely incredible. I gotta say that, just right off the bat, I don't know how I just fishtailed myself there almost, but the, the handling is insane. Like I feel like it may be one of the better cars in terms of handling that I've ever used in GTA 5, which is saying something. Definitely saying something. All right, so let's go ahead and book this up over here. We're gonna take it through the side streets, if you will, up until we get to the, uh, oh gosh, whee! Yeah, even in their like demo video of the car, they were doing like eight turns and stuff, so it's pretty, pretty cool to see that. Let's go ahead and make our way all the way up here though. It should do pretty uh, well off-road as well. It's not an off-road vehicle though. It is part of the sports class category, so there is that. But definitely want to take this thing on the dirt track and see how it does in terms of kind of a rally thing. I would love to do a rally race as well, so we're going to see if we can get a couple of those in. Let's see if we can get some air with this bad boy. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for it? Woo! Holy shoot! Oh my gosh, I don't think I can stop the spinning. Oh my gosh! Perfect. Through the water and the dirt. Oh, it's handling quite well. It can get out of like bad steer turns really quickly too. That's what I really like about it. And you can correct yourself, your positioning really, really easily. Oh my goodness. All right, look at it. I love the dirt feel on it already. I need a I need a co I need a co-pilot man. I need a navigator. Who's gonna be not my navigator? We're gonna take this off-road here. I meant to do everything that's occurring right now. There we go, see? We're just taking a bit of an off-road to get there. Alright, this thing is I I really enjoy the way it drives, I gotta say that. Especially for a sports car. It feels almost like a blend between an off-road and a sports class car, which is really, really neat to see in GTA 5. So let's take this thing um, to this LS Customs. But before we go to the LS Customs, we're going to see how this thing does on the track uh, without any modifications. So we will see if this thing is a forerunner of the non-upgraded category, I guess. I don't know who... Like, most people will not buy a car and not upgrade it. That doesn't make sense to most people, so... We're gonna see how well it does anyway. I like to see what, what we're working with at a, as a base, you know? I like to see what we're working with as a base. Holy shoot! I did not expect that. I don't think I've ever come in hot that way. There we go, so we're on the track over here. Now you can see the engine and everything like that. This should be its dream over here. Oh my goodness. Should be able to tear this apart. Oh yeah, it corrects so easily. Goodness gracious. I love it. <laughs> I can hear somebody yelling, she's playing a scary game. Oh yeah, this thing, it, it works like a hot knife in butter. That's what it feels like. You can absolutely destroy tracks with this thing. I hope there's a lot of rally races for us to try this vehicle in. That's all I'm gonna say. Because it feels like a dream going through this. An absolute, it feels better than a lot of off-road vehicles. Is that not weird? Is that not weird? I feel like off-road vehicles should dominate stuff like this, but this rally car, absolutely shredding. Absolutely shredding. I feel like you have more control in first person, but Look at that. Look how nicely it takes turns and everything like that. Oh my gosh So agile. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our way over to LS customs And 
There you go. Look at this sticking to the track. I'm gonna hop off the track though. Oh gosh. Hit a pole. We good though. We good. And through here. And let's get into the LS Customs over here. We got Ellie here in her vehicle. Already customized her. That's a real good look. Holy shoot. That's a nice looking car. I like the green stripes and everything. I mean, the suit matches too. That's awesome. Okay, we got to make something awesome looking as well. Let's pull this thing into here. All right, let's repair it first That's and foremost. And then we got 23 different options to customize. 23. So let's go ahead and go with armor. So 100%. That's $50,000. Uh, brakes, 35k. Engine, 33.5 thousand. Uh, so exhaust. We start off with the stock exhaust right here. And uh, we got this one, which is the twin exit exhaust. You got the big bore exhaust. Side exits with carbon so that's actually going to be uh over here that you see them as you can see my little little hand i'm moving right over here this is where the side exhausts are and then you can do side exhaust with um chrome or carbon so either one is a choice i don't know if i like it at the back or on the sides i kind of like it at the back what do you guys think usually i just choose the bottom one but i feel like we got to go with like I don't know. I kind of like the default one. Let me know what you guys think, though. Uh, in terms of front bumpers, we got the primary paint race splitter. Look at that. Uh, we got the secondary race paint splitter. We got the carbon race splitter. The primary paint track splitter. And you got the the secondary and carbon as well. So this is essentially um, two different choices, which is this one or this one. It's really these little uh, canards here that uh, you can see that are being added so uh really really depends a lot of people saying the side exhaust is where it should be so let's go ahead and go with these side um let's do side carbon let's see if we can make it mm, should we make it more carbon based or more that's a tough choice actually no we're not gonna do carbon based let's do let's do carbon for that one and then for this one we can do like secondary or something let's do secondary um I like the mean look that that one gives. Okay, so now in hood, we got stock hood, stock carbon hood, uh, classic sport hood. What is that? That really just takes away everything. That's pretty sweet. Uh, and then you got the race hood. Oh, we got to go with the race one. There's no doubt about that. Uh, lights, let's go ahead and get those xenon headlights. Uh, we're going to go ahead and um, we're, we're not going to go for an underglow right now. Uh, plates, let's go ahead and put top notch at the back right there. And let's just make it black and black and yellow probably would be the best black and yellow black and yellow um in terms of roof so you can have the scoop v1 flag oh it tells you if there's a livery thing with it okay so we'll go with this one we'll go with this one because it's got the livery as well i do like the scoop i think the scoop is pretty nice looking sun strip not sure if we're gonna put a sun strip yet we get the vapid racing at the back Maybe we'll keep that look going. Kind of like the Chappelle. The Chappelle. Because it reminds me of Dave Chappelle. Uh, we got these skirts over here. These are very hard to tell the difference. Oh, there we go. Okay. I do like the, the race ones. So let's go with the race ones. And we're going to go with the secondary. Sharp. does cover the exhaust a little bit, but that's okay. Spoiler. So this is the livery stock wing. And then you got... You can have no, you can have no wing, which looks pretty neat, especially if you like hatchbacks. Uh, then you get the carbon stock wing, secondary paint street wing. This is the street wing right here. And then we got the track wing over here. Oh my goodness, the track wing is insane. I don't know which one I like the most. I really don't. It's kind of hard to tell from this angle as well. But suspension, let's go ahead and is there a way to get maybe the front view? Let's go to the front view real quick. There we go. And then let's go to suspension. And let's see. Okay, so this is the normal stock suspension. Show it again. Low, 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 low. That is so low compared to the stock. Okay, we're going to bring this thing all the way down. And then transmission. Let's go with the 40K transmission turbo. $50,000. Uh, wheels. We're going to keep those wheels for now. 
windows i don't feel like tinting it right away so we'll wait on that uh, in terms of spoilers spoilers gonna force you to look at the back as well all right maybe we'll go check out the liveries now i kind of the track wing everyone's saying track wing all right all right you guys wanted it let's go with the livery track wing you got great taste I might make things carbon then. I kind of kind of want to make them carbon. But wheels, let's go here and let's go to... I wonder if we go like mill spec. Should we go like off-road wheels or should we go sport wheels? That's the question. Some of these sport wheels look really, really good. I'm a fan of quite a few of these. I'm a fan of more of the shiny ones, but you know... We can make anything work with this car, I feel. Like, this one looks great. It's so zoomed in here. This is a weird garage to be in to modify things. Put off-road wheels. Um, okay, let, let's skip that for now. I think Sport will look best, too. Mm, let's go with these, the ground that ride. Car was a woman, I'd kiss her. That car was a woman, I'd kiss her. What a weird thing to say. Not that weird. Um, okay, let's go over to livery. And we got 11 different choices. So we got classic stripes over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you got the Murica. I think, oh, that's just always going to be Murica. Oh, that's funny. So you got these classic stripes right down the middle. Classic with race flags. Look at that. Classic race flags. That's pretty sweet. Uh, classic flags with stripes. Not a bad look right there. Not a bad look. We got the Zero RC. Ooh. That's actually pretty sweet. I feel like we got it. Let's remove this flag stuff, though. Let's do it uh, just secondary. There we go. It's looking a little weird. It doesn't really match. That does look mean. I really do like that one. I think the classic stripes looks amazing. Uh, the Zero RC Ford looks pretty sweet, though. Look at that. You can go full-on rally sort of vibes there. You have the Cell Toa. Um, you got Pibluasa. Globe Oil. Seven. I'm a big fan of number seven. You guys already know that. G and B. Got her in blood. <laughs> Junk 21. Junk looks pretty sweet. I kind of like the vibes. Rum Racing. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's go with Junk real quick. And let's see if I switch the respray to maybe a pure black. That would look pretty sweet. How about if we change that to pure black and then secondary. Trim's just going to be interior, right? Oh, trim's just going to be the roll bars. Okay, so let's go secondary here. So if we went like all black, everything. That would look pretty sweet with the junk, the quick fix. <sighs> That's tough though. I feel like we, we get a lot more. Here, let's go with this one for now. And then let's also just change a few things here with like the hood. No, that, that would look cool, but no, we're not going to go with that. I feel like you'd have to go carbon at this point. Maybe even for the, the fender on the side. Uh, you would have to change that one as well. The carbon roof scoop, that would have to be a must. Um, the skirts, carbon skirt. That's a beauty right there. And then you would need the carbon... You need the carbon track at the back. Um, and then in terms of wheels here, we can go wheel color, make it all black, everything. And then tire design, you need the custom tires on this. You need bulletproof tires, and that would be good. Okay, let's go see what this thing looks like here. That looks pretty sweet. That looks pretty sweet. I don't know if I'm a big fan of the tires. Let's go over to the other... Oh, gosh. What the heck? There was just bodies there. All right, let's take this thing off-road real quick. We're going to go see other person's cars, other people's cars as well. I don't think I would keep this the way it is right now. I want to modify it, but I want to get to a better LS Customs, which is going to be the one downtown. That's the one we want to head to. This thing drives like a dream, though. It's very dreamy. The traction and control is just amazing of it as they begin to spin out and do a 360. Whee! It just flies. 
It's a fun car. It's definitely a fun car. All right, let's book it through here. Let's get to downtown. It's gorgeous. You should tint the windows. I think I definitely got to tint the windows at this point. Let's book this though and make our way to the other LS Customs and we will customize this thing one more time. Oh gosh. It turns so quickly. It turns so, so quickly. I think we're going to go crazy with this one. I actually like the neon glows from this car. So we're going to see if we can do something similar maybe. And I think we're, we're going to take off the livery too. As much as I like liveries, I, I don't think like a full-on livery is what's going to make this car cool. So This thing is really quick though. I'm curious how well it fares in terms of races and uh, like max speed and stuff like that. Because it feels really quick. Jeez. I wonder if it would compete versus the um I don't think it would. What's the what's the what's the main sports car again? I forgot now. Um The Pariah. The Pariah. I wonder if it would compete versus the Pariah in terms of a race. What brings you in today? Don't change it. Don't take it off. Don't remove the library. At least change. Better than when she came in, that's for sure. Put light at the bottom. It's a tough choice. We're almost at, almost at 6.8 million subs as well. So big shout out to everybody in chat. Make sure you do subscribe if you are new around here. And let's go ahead and go to... Do, 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 do. My face probably looks better in the corner like that. Um, oh, then you can't see my money. Ah, it's okay. Y'all couldn't believe me. Um, what should we do here? Let's go with, I kind of like the black and red. Maybe we'll go with the zero gas. Hmm. A lot of you guys saying keep the livery. Keep the livery. How about if we go with like the classic with race flags? So but if we do that one and then we switch let's respray it real quick. See a white oh gosh my phone. See a white one would look good there. Hmm. Even a red would look good with the black lines. I think we're gonna go with the blue though. Let's go with the blue. We can make like a bright blue. That would be pretty. Let's go with an ultra blue. Let's go a little. Let's go a little bit crazy. You know, a little bit crazy. And I feel like we can make it take it to the next level too. The inside here. What would be a good way? Oh, there we go. So that would be a good way to do it. Maybe blue seats as well inside. I feel like that's too blue. Maybe we could have a darker blue on the interior. So what do you guys think? Do you like this better or do you like the junk one better? Is there no just straight up blue? There's no just straight up blue. This is this is racing blue. Racing blue would be pretty sweet. That looks pretty awesome though. Come on. Come on. That looks pretty sweet. Sunstrip, I feel like we'd remove. Um let's go with the I like the spoiler at the back. I think that one looks pretty sweet. Hmm. A lot of you guys saying keep the junk one. This one, junk one. I'm seeing a lot of people saying junk. Let's go. Let's try with the junk again. All right, all right. How about if I go blue with the junk then? Because I think I like that better. And then with the wheels, let's go ahead and make that um, head over to, I don't know if I even like sport for this one. I mean, oh, those are pretty sweet. Hmm. 
let's go with off-road might be great Afro looks pretty sweet with it. It really does. Hi, Samara. How are you? <laughs> What's that face? You scared me. I know. You're welcome. <laughs> You're freaking welcome, Samara. Uh, let's go over to... I don't know which one to choose. Go with these. Now that's a custom job. Go white color. See how that looks. Okay, let's try that out. Let's go with a nice. Ooh, white kind of looks good. Eh. I don't know. I don't know what color would work with this junk one. Honestly, pink kind of works. Doesn't pink work somewhere? Pink and the blue? Looks nice. It actually looks nice, doesn't it? I kind of like it. Should we go pink, guys? Green doesn't look half bad either. Oh, like a lime green? Look at the lime green with it. I like pink. I kind of like the pink, I'm going to be honest. Or a dark blue. Like, I rarely ever choose weird, like, colors like that. But honestly, I think hot pink. Hot pink looks pretty sweet with it. Do you guys not agree? Look at hot pink. Tell me you don't like it. Hot pink looks freaking dope. I don't care if you're a manly, burly man or something. Except that hot pink looks cool with this car, okay? Just be a man. Accept it. Then I feel like these, like the seats would have to be like black, you know? Everyone's saying pink now. Look at that. The pink army is here. Uh, and then let's go with, should we get some underglows on this? We're just turning this car, we're turning it around. There we go. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this car. Look at this car. Alright, let's go back with the Vapid Racing one. Sun Strip, let's put the Vapid Racing on. There we go. What do you guys think of this vehicle now? What do you guys think of this vehicle? Be honest with yourselves. Be honest with yourselves. They're going to pull out of the garage. Oh, look at that. We have a couple of different people lined up over here with their cars. So I'm going to ask you guys which ones you like the most. Oh, shoot. I ran mine a little bit. Honestly, mine looks dope. Mine looks freaking dope. Let me turn my vehicle on. Um, almost forgot how to do that. Vehicles... Woo wee! Look at that! Oh my gosh. Alright, so we're gonna go one through. Let's move your car out of the way, Metallica. Move. Move it. This is not a rally car. Maybe it is a rally car, but not not the one. Is this the. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet. What car is this? What car is this? Oh, it's a Sultan RS. Okay, you gotta move your car, though. I gotta have the move it. There we go. He got the message. Okay, there we go. All right. So I want you guys to rate which car is your favorite. All right. So we got number one over here. It's righteous, and he's got the junk black primary, junk livery. I like that spoiler. Actually, it might change mine. That one's pretty dope. That's number one. So if you vote number one, that's the car you're voting for. Number two is Brick's car. You got the gray with uh, gray primary, black, black uh, sec or no, gray primary. Uh, you got the red secondary. 
So you got the race strips and white lines. You got the uh, red spoiler over here with carbon fiber on the side and exhaust on the side too. Um, and just right just has the exhaust at the back. Um, three over here, we got uh, Ellie. Ellie can finally join us today. Hey, Ellie. And we got um, white primary with, uh, it seems like a dark green, midnight green almost secondary. That's a really cool vibe right there. Really, really cool. Got some nice wheels too. Got a carbon fiber spoiler with exhaust at the back. And then we have number four, the manliest vehicle of all time. You got the junk livery with the pink primary spitting hot fire flames. Got the, got repping the sponsors all the way through. Got amazing tires here and side exhaust as well. So vote which one you like the most. Is it one, two, three, or four? Let me know. Let your voice be heard and type it in chat. Let's go ahead and um, look at the interior over here. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. We gotta bring this thing to the airport. We gotta bring this thing to the airport. Get everybody on us here. All right. Let's, oh gosh, it smashed right into a pole. All right, we're bringing these to the airport. I'm seeing a lot of fours. I'm seeing a lot of fours. I look like my my car looks like it should be in Fast and Furious, doesn't it? My car looks like it should be in Fast and Furious or Tokyo Drift or something. Everybody, Tokyo! Everybody, Tokyo! Look at this car. It looks incredible. Honestly, one of my favorite car designs that I've got. It's had it had some pretty good customization to it. Not the most extensive customization we've seen. I'm gonna give that to like the um Yeah, the handling is just amazing. The handling is just a dream. That's what I'm gonna say. The handling is a dream on this car. Oh my gosh. You can come out of every any turn essentially and be a-okay. As long as you're quick enough with the response. Which I'm a big fan of because I'm always going sideways. Let's make our way over to the airport. There we go. And we'll do a bit of uh, testing here. I just want to see how it stocks up versus the Pariah. I don't think it will stock up very well, but I mean, we could try, right? I don't think this is going to be like a super competitive in terms of... I mean, it really depends on this track because it feels like it has some strong acceleration. It's got some nifty moves, and it may be a competitor on the track. Holy shit. Let's go through the beach. Oh my gosh. Oh my. I'm still seeing a lot of people voting. I think four and two were the most popular. Let us go through the beach over here and try to Take a nice little jump over the fence. One of my lights be missing. One of my lights be missing. I think this is the best way to get over here. Oop! Right over. There we go. Right freaking over. So what would you guys rate this car out of 10? It is really, really expensive. I will give it that. It is really, really, really expensive. But is it worth the price? Is the question. Is it worth the price? Let me know what you think. Personally, I'm going to have to see it on the track. To see if this is something I'll be using more often than just now. Because a lot of these cars, you know, you buy them. And then the hype wears off and you're like, am I going to be using this car again? You don't know don't know this one especially if you're a rally enthusiast maybe a car that you will use again oh my gosh cars are just flipping cars are flipping everywhere go in the hangar do some good drift shows and stuff I really I just got tripped out by that I'm seeing a lot of 10 out of 10s I'm seeing a lot of 7s 6s 7s Oh my gosh. 
tricky moves there. I think this would be a really good drifting car. And cars that are, and, and also a car that may be used with shorter turns and more calculated and precise um, races like that. I mean, it can drift for a quite a long time. Without mods, it's pretty hard to drift with some cars in GTA 5, but this one doesn't do a bad job. It does not do a bad job, I gotta say. Look, we're all just drifting around the plane. We're all drifting around the plane. Woo! All right, let's see if we can test this in a race. What kind of race should we do? Oh gosh, I kind of want to test it up against the Pariah. Should we blow our car up then? Oh jeez. All right. Gosh, the wing is so big that it keeps clipping on things as I pass underneath them. Hup! The sloppiest barrel roll of all time. Double barrel roll, if you will. Let's try one more barrel roll. I'm just trying to get it. I'm just trying to get a cool clip drifting through here. I want to see if I can drift through and come through the middle section. Oh my goodness. That was awesome. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. And... Ah, a little bit sloppy, but we kind of got what we wanted there. A little bit sloppy. Double barrel roll. Ooh, perfect landing. I feel like we're stunned now. We're stunned now. Holy shoot, all the cars coming in hot. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. We got to get a perfect drift on this. Oh, I just touched the side a little bit. Oh, gosh. All right, one more chance. One more chance. Look at all the cars going over. Oh, that's so awesome. And... Oh no! Okay, last try, last try, let's try. I want to see if we can do it over two of the, the pillar kind of areas. Oh jeez. Holy shoot. Everybody comes in so hot. Okay, let's see if we can go around double of them while drifting. Oh, a little bit too. Uh -uh. Wow, okay, I thought I drifted badly there. I thought I drifted badly there. Everybody knows the circuit now, look at that. Oh no, I took, I took that with a bad amount of speed. Okay, last try, last try. Did I hit the triple there? All right, last try, last try, let's do this. We gotta do a mega drift here. Oh, not bad, not bad. Can we get the triple corkscrew now? That's the big deal. One, two. Two works out for me, there we go, all right. Whew. The tires on this thing must be shredded. Shredded. Everyone starts spinning in circles now. Oh, it's pretty good at it too. It can maintain a wider donut. If you if you hit the handbrake at the right time. Look at that, I'm in constant drift lock right now. That's awesome. Oh, it doesn't have the right sound though right here. Come on, I need a more revving sound. I 
There we go. Give her a little bit more. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a race. Which one should we do? Let's go with... Maybe we'll go with... Is there like a rally one? Let's see if we go down to R if we see a rally. R, 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 R. No, red, uh, Ratten Race? No, that's, that's gonna be off-road. Let's do Cutting Corners. Mud, Sweat, and Gears. Oh my gosh, that's, a uh, that's not the one. Just Deserts? Wouldn't be bad. But that's off-road as well. Uh, let's go Cutting Corners. And if you guys know a better sort of one, does anybody know like a, a name of a rally race in here? Let me know. You should do more NASCAR. The NASCAR races were definitely fun. If you're watching and enjoy this, by the way, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications for more. All right. Let's go ahead and keep this to sports. Noon. Bright. Oh, we were already locked in on our standard. Okay. That's fine, then. That is fine. So, would you guys purchase this vehicle? I don't know if you're just a casual GTA player, if I would purchase this for this price just because it's really expensive. Uh, but if the performance here, if we could do it in, like, it's going to be hard because it's going to be standard. But, um, yeah, it's going to be kind of tough to say just because... If we do this race, we won't really know what the best lap time is simply because there's catch up and stuff. But if we did there, um, if we if we did one with non contact, that would be the best indicator. But let me know what you guys think. Will you be buying this car? Yes or no? And let me know your reasons for that. Is there other cars? There is. Um, there's a Mini Cooper, I believe, like an old Mini Cooper, and there is a helicopter as well so a lot of you saying you will be buying this car interesting very interesting very very interesting okay so cutting corners is definitely one of my favorite sort of technical tracks just because it's so like it's got everything it's got some sort of uh, faster spots, it's got some more technical spots, as basically everything you need in a race, especially if you want to test out a new car, so. Why can I only bet $200? Oh, that's how much I got probably in my, uh, gotten cash. I'm seeing most people say yes, they're going to buy the car, but then some people saying no, because it's too expensive. Nah, because I'm a broke boy. Well, Colin, you get, we gotta get you some shark cash card, dude. Some shark cash card, bro. Junk, the quick fix. Alright, let's see how well we do here. Everybody's revving their car up. Look at this. There we go. Up to a nice, a banger of a start here. Someone's already drafting off of me. This first turn is always gonna, if somebody hasn't played this race often, it kills everybody this first turn. Oh God, see? Some people don't know how to take it and they crash and they take everyone else out with them. Alrighty, well then. Let's learn how to race, people. Let us learn how to race. You can always catch up though, not a problem. Some people just go full speed into every corner and expect to win the race. There she goes. Yeah, this one's definitely got some quick acceleration to it. It's not gonna help me going through here. Go through the inside lane though. Okay, that car is teleporting. 
That's always a healthy sign of a healthy vehicle. Did I only put two laps? What is happening? That dude's lagging so much. Holy shoot. Yeah, I don't think we can catch up at this point if it's only two laps. We got caught in the mosh pit. It was too much. Too much in the mosh pit. We gotta do non-contact with these races, man. At least we'll get a cool second place. Cool second place. All right, let's throw it into non-contact. Do uh, the slingshot, Ricky Bobby. Last second, shake and bake, baby. Man, I love, I love that movie. I love that movie so much. Been subscribed to four to five years. Holy smokes! Big shout out to you, man. Shout out to Triddle. TG, I met Law and we're friends. I was wondering if I could join your free modes. When you stream, please. For sure, man. Trail, just join up on the crew. You can join anytime, man. Big shout out to you. Thanks so much for that super chat. Are you doing another live stream today? I'm not sure if I will be. I gotta leave by five, so I don't have too much time. So the answer is maybe. But I still have to record one or two things, so probably not. This will probably be my only stream for today. Probably. Unless you do it like a really quick. I had the best lap time. Let's hit replay. Let's hit replay. And we'll do non-contact. Non-contact's probably my favorite. I love GTA races with the hitting and stuff, but I don't hit people anymore. That's the thing. We should do rally. Rally is a team race. One drives and one navigates using a headset or buttons. Use the only the navigator can see the checkpoints. Still can't believe they put that in as a mode. Let's go sports. Should we mess everybody up with some rain? Should we put rain? We're gonna do noon. We'll, th we'll throw it in the rain here. See how people do. There we go. Let's go. We got a full eight people right here. It's five US time. Well, there's a couple different time zones in the US, so... Um, I'm from Canada. We still have the same time zones, but I'm on the West Coast now. So for me, it's 2.05 right now, and I got to leave in 3 hours and 25 minutes. So there is that. Spent a thousand buckaroos on herself. Confidence. That's what we're going to call it. Confidence. Shake and bake, baby. There we go. It's a moist track now. It's a moist track. I think with non-contact, the um, the only non-one of these cars is going to win, though. I think. I don't think any other car stands a chance. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure, though. It's kind of cool to see the car in the rain, though. The control in the rain is dope. Can I just throw that out there? You gotta slam on the brakes though. Oh geez, I fish tailed there for a second. Oh, that's a tough turn to come out of. You gotta full on slam brakes. Or else you're not gonna have a good time. Goodness. Me oh my. The rain really changes things. It's revving hard, baby. It's revving hard. This is the, I would say, the most speed important section of the race is right here. And it's really dependent on how you take this turn. Especially in the rain. 
If you can take it well, you're going to be doing pretty well. If you can't take that turn well, you might have some problems. I think that's a um, salt and bind us as well. It's not even one of these cars. A little drifty drift around the corner. Yeah, that's the salt and bottom. This Metallica doesn't have the new car. So we might be able to beat it out. That's going to be a tough one, though. I think on straightaways, he has the speed, though. If I'm not incorrect with the car's stats. We're gunning it right now, though. Clean lap. Never hit a thing. Ooh, I almost lost control. I, I, I felt like I almost did. In reality, I don't think I did, but... Oh, what a drift! Horrible for time, but looked really cool. You never want to drift when racing, right? There's very rare times where drifting is going to help you out. I feel. It depends on the track, but... There we go. Now it's all straightaways. It's all straightaways from here, boys. Ooh. Perfection, that turn right there. That gave me a few extra seconds as well. Boom. Oh, my. That's fun. In the Rain is definitely a different story, though. Let me just say that. In the Rain is definitely a different story. What car is this? Oh, that's the, uh, that's the NASCAR car. It's a NASCAR car. I think he'll still be able to finish the race. 20 seconds left. Should be good. Should be good. Should be good. They don't mess up. Seems to be lagging quite a bit, though. There you go. There you go. Solid first place finish. Did it in three minutes. 7,000 bucks. Did I get anything extra for betting? I wonder if anyone bet with me. Yo! Ah, 700 in bets isn't too bad, I guess. So we had the best lap time of 59.452. Uh, the next closest to that was actually the Elegy Retro, which came in at 59.936. Look at that. That's not bad. That is not bad. Um, let's hit this to free mode, though. To free mode we go. Have you tried playing this on Xbox One controller? I played GTA 5 on PS4, Xbox One. I've done all that, so... I, I know how it feels. I just prefer using mouse and keyboard. Although driving would probably be better on a on a controller, no doubt. I feel. I feel like driving games should be done on a controller. I feel like that's just the way it is. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been an epic stream with an epic vehicle. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smack that like button if you're new around here. Hit that subscribe button and make sure to go cop yourself some fire merch. Typical dot store. Um, link in the description below. This is gonna be a shorter stream. I might try to do one more stream. I'm not sure if it'll be GTA 5 or um, something else, but m probably I'll just be recording videos for when I'm gone. So I'll be gone tomorrow and, well, I'm leaving tonight, but I'll be gone for the 18th and the 19th. So I'll have to get videos up for you guys for then. So I'm gonna try to do those ASAP. Uh, if you wanna follow me on Twitter, Instagram, where I'll be posting some pictures of San Francisco, oh, maybe the Golden Gate Bridge, maybe some more merch. Links will be in the description below, but don't forget, grab your merch, typical dot store. Um, shout out to, uh, we got Tyler Kimball, keep up the good work. Thank you, Tyler. Big shout no, out to you. Thank you. I will do, man. Appreciate it. Trittle, I'm in Miku TGE7 full. I will be so hyped if I join. Oh my gosh. Trittle, I will try to make space again very soon. I also invite people from Team Miku, so be on the lookout. For that as well oh my gosh that car ran over brick uh we also have an audible coin shout out to you for the super chat appreciate that and shout out to everybody that joined brick prince ellie 
um, Northern, Metallica, uh, Grobler, every, Righteous, everybody that, I think I just got everybody, everybody that joined, thank you so much for coming through, appreciate it, and let me know what you guys think of the new car, right now, if you're just purely basing it off of performance, uh, for price point, I'd, I'd buy the car personally, um, for me, but, uh, I stole my car. I'd buy the car personally for me, but uh, if you guys are low on cash, probably wait until something else comes up. I mean, most car races you're going to do are going to involve supercars, so maybe investing in one of the faster supercars like the Wagner uh, may be your best bet. But if you're into sports, you like rally racing and stuff like that, uh, this may be a car for you to look into. So let me know what you guys think. Rate it out of 10 and... Um, uh, let me know if you would buy this car as well. Mike, Miguel Pena, thanks so much for the super chat too. Again, check out the merch, typical.store. Everything else, link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and peace out.